see the rest of me spinning. Oh, but I can show you what it's looking like so far. Um, it's actually looking quite cool, I think. And I also, um, a part for me is I like to, as it's entering this stage, um, a part of the next step of processing for me is imagining what I'm going to do. Like, um, so it's silk, it's really soft. I could make like a shawl. Um, I don't think this is quite hat material, but um, there's a lot of things I could do with this. And imagining and thinking about that is, is a cool piece too. Okay, so just real quick, um, wanted to show you. So remember that was a, like a double-sided skirt. Um, this is what I got out of the one side. So now I just need to make this into something else. All right, I'm going to be right back. Okay, um, I'm back, went to school, came back, and um, <laughs> during the breaks at school, I was able to make this. So it's just, um, I crocheted it because um, I know I could do that pretty fast, and I just wanted to have like a finished product to show you. Um, and what was interesting about crochet versus knit is I can knit without looking at it, because you kind of know where your stitches are but you can't crochet without looking at it because you need to know where your needle has to go so um, in terms of like working with this as a process it really made me consciously looking at it and working through it um, the other interesting thing that happened for me was that um, I kind of went in with the conscious intention of like body image and whatever um, and maybe that happened, but I feel like the stronger thing as I started working on it came up about like vulnerability and, and putting myself out there and like, is this really therapy? Um, but the good news is I decided it is. And, and it really made me with every stitch, like, um, felt like a fortifying act of, um, weaving this with intention and creating, um, ended up with, wasn't really sure when I started what it would be and ended up, it's not a ton of yarn, I would probably say 30 yards, um, but, you know, one, what I could make with that, um, amount and, um, I love that it's a vessel so it has like a receptacle quality, I also think it looks a lot like a bird's nest, um, I don't know if you could, how close I can get it without being obnoxious, but that pattern really, um, it's more the colors, so the pattern is completely lost, and it has like a natural feel to me, and so what I do, um, I also like to save my little bits and odds and ends of yarn, and I, uh, put that out in the spring, in the beginning of spring, and for birds to make fluffy cozy nests, so, um, this is now the bowl to hold my, um, nest making scraps of yarn. Um, so that's basically it. <laughs> now I just have to write it up in some sort of coherent proposal form. And I guess I'll do that now. And this is my cat Ringo.